Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you another element to show you what these people are doing, why they can get away with keeping facts like this away from you. They have a little secret world of their own. They get away with murder that you couldn't do. Now, let me ask you this. This is a hypothetical question. I'm now going to say something that is not true as a hypothesis and ask you what you would think of it. What would you think, folks, if I said, if I told you that the Catholics got a deal going in this country, a real profitable deal, and every factory that makes food has to pay a priest to hang around the factory with his feet up on a desk, and he gets a big salary in order to put a little C on all the food to certify that it's pure Catholic and that you all have to pay for it. Boy, you'd say that's an outrage. Why, look at this separation of church and state. What do these people mean making us pay for their religious services? Well, now let me tell you, the tribe is doing exactly that to you. They're giving you a good financial screwing, and you don't know it. They never tell you. I'm going to show you how bad it is. Here is a directory called Kosher Products Directory. Some of you in the front row may be able to see it. It's got a circle with a big U in it. Now, this U is called a hexer. And do you know what a hexer stands for? It's the mark of the Jews. It's put out by the Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregations of America. And this hexer shows that anybody in this directory has paid the Jews money, cash, in order to get that thing on their product. And where do you think the cash comes from? You pay it. They have two groups. Now, when you get out of here, if you think I'm lying or misrepresenting, you have only one thing to do. It's real easy to do. You have simply to go home, look on the shelf where you keep any groceries, and look for two things, either a K, which means kosher, or this U, which means Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregations of America, and you'll find it hidden away on the label of most of your food products, even soap powder, detergents, even antifreeze. It's kosher. Now, it used... They list it here. You're paying extra, a few, I don't know what it is, a mill or a penny or something extra for every piece of food. This is a racket, ladies and gentlemen, and there's a Jewish newsletter put out by a William Zuckerman. Here it is. Here. This is, again, available for us for you to read it all. William Zuckerman's letter, he says to his fellow Jews, now, of course, whoever heard of the Jewish newsletter, we don't read it. Of course, I do. But you people don't. The goy, as they call it, the sheep that don't study what's going on. You don't study what's going on. But they say to each other, boys we got to get a little cooler about this thing. They're catching on. Let me show you what they have down here. This is under the heading, The Kosher Racket. And under this heading, which you can get from me and read, you will find out that a rabbi in Cleveland, Ohio, collected, sued the Coca-Cola company for one summer's blessing of the Coca-Cola. And he collected 30,000 bucks. That's pretty good pay. I don't know what the rabbi had to do to each bottle. Maybe snip a little off the end of the bottle as it went through the line in order to make it kosher. The, my point, ladies and gentlemen, is multiply the Coca-Cola in just Cleveland by all over the country, by all the other drinks, by all the other seasons, by the year after year after year that's gone on since then, and the Jews come up with a figure, and incidentally, it's a very ominous figure, of six million bucks a year that they're getting. That's what they say. You're paying them six million dollars a year to eat kosher food. Would you pay six million dollars a year to eat Catholic food? Or Buddhist food? Do you think that any religion has the right to impose its cost on the whole population the way they do? And if you don't put that, if the, any manufacturer doesn't put the symbol on, he doesn't have much luck. He can't get his advertising, just like me, he can't be heard. His product won't go. They say this right here in their own newsletter, and don't anybody let anybody out there say, Rockwell is just ranting and raving. You get the document as I did and study it and see if the Jews themselves admit it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to the heart of this matter and show you how they operate. 